Virat Kohli's recent form in ongoing IPL season has sparked discussions about his role in T20 cricket, particularly considering the T20 World Cup squad selection is just a few days away. Kohli, who is currently the orange cap holder with 361 runs from seven games, including 100, is criticised for his strike rate in the shorter format. Kohli's unbeaten 113 of 72 deliveries against Rajasthan Royals in a recent match was notable for being the slowest century in the tournament's history. This has led to debates about the role of anchors like Kohli in T20 format, where strike rates often hold more significance than batting averages. The argument is clear, if Kohli is to remain a key part of India's T20 plans, he may need to shift to an opening role where the demand for explosive starts is higher. The modern T20 format favours players who can maintain high strike rates throughout their innings, especially in the middle overs. If Kohli opens the batting, where do you fit in Yashusri Jaiswal or Shubman Gill, both of whom has opened for India in the shorter format in recent past as well for their franchises in the ongoing IPL. Among the three, Gill has the best strike rate of 151.14 compared to Virat's 147.34 and Jaiswal's 145.78. In the match between Kolkata Knight Riders and Rajasthan Royals at Eden Gardens on Tuesday night, Josh Butler gave a perfect example how to pace an innings in T20 format depending on match situation. Unlike Butler, Kohli's strike rate has been relatively lower, especially in the middle overs and against spin bowling. Kohli's performances, particularly in the 2016 IPL season, demonstrated his ability to accelerate after a steady start. However, recent years have shown a decline in his middle order strike rates, particularly against the spinners. This raises questions about his adaptability in different phases of the game, a crucial factor in T20 cricket. Looking ahead to the T20 World Cup squad selection, Kohli's role becomes a point of strategic consideration. While he may not be suited for the number three position, his skills as an opener, as demonstrated in the ongoing IPL, could offer a viable option. This would allow quicker scorers in the middle order to capitalize on the early momentum. The competition for the opening slot, including players like Shubman Gill and Yashushri Jaiswal, adds further complexity to India's selection dilemma. Recent stats suggest that Jaiswal's aggressive intent in the power play, despite occasional risks, has positioned him as a potential partner for Rohit Sharma at the top. However, Kohli's experience and evolving strike rate dynamics cannot be overlooked, especially considering the recent progress in this aspect. Ultimately, India's T20 strategy must balance experience, form and tactical flexibility to maximize their chances in the upcoming tournament. Kohli's role whether as an opener or in a different batting position, will be crucial in shaping India's approach in the upcoming T20 World Cup. Where do you think Virat Kohli's batting order should be in the upcoming T20 World Cup? Do let us know in the comments section and subscribe to Rep Sports for more updates from the world of sports.